<clears throat> What's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys the review for The Real Housewives of Potomac. <clears throat> this first part is going to be, like, real short, because we're really not getting a whole, whole lot, you know, like, the intro like, the we're getting a lot of the introductions or whatever from the girls, but we're not getting a whole lot. The main thing I want to talk about right now is <clears throat> delusional ass Katie. So she gets the girls. When I say girls, I mean Giselle, Robin, and Ashley. Yeah, Katie gets all them together because apparently they're on her committee. <clears throat> and it's three weeks from the event, and it pretty. It's not even appear. She really ain't got shit done. And the girls starting to feel some kind of way. Robin. <laughs> is the most outspoken about this shit because I'm assuming that she's just not helping out, but I guess her PR company or the company that she works for is assisting. So it's just like, you know, I'm kind of putting myself out there and if this shit don't work, know that it wasn't our fault, meaning her and Giselle. And Katie's just like, well, you know, you don't even have to be a part of the event and, you know, gets all defensive. It's not any shit. My whole thing is, you know, it's kind of crazy because she even admitted in a damn confessional that she was just using, you know, or she took advantage of Giselle in the moment to get her on board. So I can't wait for the fucking reunion and I can't wait to see how I'm not. Well, the shit has already been, you know, uh, filmed. So I'm not hoping that it was a flop. But if it is, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to swim in the shit. <clears throat> Now, why I don't see the hashtag Shady Sunday for the Real Households of Potomac, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting my life now. I'm getting a little bit more. So, Katie sits here and spills her tea about her relationship with our uh, Russell. She gets mad because they start. Well, actually, not they. Giselle begins to Google the shit because she talked about writing a blog about it. I do agree. <clears throat> you can't sit here and offer up the tea and get mad when motherfuckers start sipping on and regurgitating your tea. You can't get mad. You can't get mad. Now, they start talking. Now, they're at the house. Uh, it's dinner. They're, and they're talking about, you know, um, I forget <clears throat> Ashley's uh, husband name, but I think she put too much of her tea out there, you know, but she let it know. She let it be known. Uh, his pullout game strong. And she sometimes have to, you know, give his ass old fashioned to finish him off. But you know what? Hey, you do what the fuck you do. Because them bitches can sit there and hate all the fuck they want to. But hey, leave their ass press with no motherfucking relief. Because I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. Now, she had, now they all had, you know, liquor. And they want champagne. And they want some champagne. I look at their ass like, bitch, y'all gonna sit here and drink what the fuck I got for y'all. This <laughs> y'all ain't at the motherfucking hotel. This ain't the Ritz, bitch. Okay, y'all, y'all gonna get see this this is why I couldn't be the fucking Potomac, because I shit. Shit. <clears throat> now we got the room accommodations. Now, only three people have singles. That is Ashley, Katie, and uh Karen. And <clears throat> I think the only reason that um Katie has a room is because she and Ashley are similar in age. So, but uh, Sharice and her friend <clears throat> are sharing a room to uh, twin size beds, and the same thing with Robin and Giselle. Now, Robin ain't got a problem with it because <clears throat> you know, Robin is thinking the same way that I'm thinking. Okay, you didn't brought me out here, you finna put me up. I ain't finna say shit, I'm finna enjoy you tricking. Uh, uh, I mean, you tricking your money back. Sorry, I'm parking. Need some water. Y'all know I was drinking, doing my Trinity Towers video, so I'm trying to hydrate for tomorrow. Y'all know I got to work the fuck out with you. But, um, <clears throat> they in a motherfucking feelings talking about, you know, we finna <clears throat> get a hotel and all this other shit. Now, they couldn't get any hotel because they were all taking up. But I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. Ashley <laughs> had the motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all let me know at the end who had to read the motherfucking night. But she was like, uh, Giselle, and uh, where is your beach house? Come on, come on, come the fuck on through. You better ask where the fuck her beach, beach house at. Why the fuck they complaining? Because that shit is motherfucking non-existent. And again, you don't sit here and tell somebody what the fuck they do with other people. You should have. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Bitch, you ain't have to come. Cause, and here's the thing. Katie, not nah, Ash is better than me, because I would damn sure put all they motherfucking asses out. Okay, trust me when I say, I'm going to leave your ass pressed and on the outside of the motherfucking door. Don't fuck with me. Now, Mira Mira on the wall. Who is the shadiest of them all? Y'all, it's Giselle. 
I thought that I was going to like Giselle. I'm actually starting not to like Giselle. I'm really not. Uh, you know, the fact that, you know, okay, so they don't have AC in their room. Genuine concern. I got that. Why not pull the hostess to the side and be like, look, I ain't got this. Now, she does admit, I knew the accommodations and I knew that y'all probably wouldn't have came, but that's why I didn't tell you because I wanted you guys to come. And again, when somebody's treating your ass, <laughs> But I'm waiting for, wait, has Giselle hosted uh, an event for this season? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, y'all pussy sweat on the dress. Lord, Lord, Lord. All I'm going to say is, is if y'all did not see it, Chris Brown, cause I, ain't I didn't talk about on the trending topics because I didn't think it was important. But he did like a little IG thing. It was like an ad where he kind of had the Joker face splash on. And he is a poom poom monster. Poom poom, or was it boom boom, whatever. And uh, he he likes to eat the eat, eat the poop night now, right? So I would have to uh, ask Ashley to get that shit under control before you have Chris Brown um in between your motherfucking legs, okay? Just saying, you you might wanna, cause she ain't bring no damn draws. Nasty, nasty. Ah, uh, now they doing this whole sister circle thing, and that was um Sharice doing that. You know, because that's what, uh, she, you know, the NBA, well, she had like a group of NBA wives and they would do this thing where they go around the table and everybody says something that they admire about what, you know, the ladies <clears throat> and Giselle went to shade the fuck <laughs> out of fucking Katie. Pretty much just saying, you know, in, in lack of a better phrasing that she's a fucking ditz. She's an idiot. And Katie feels the kind of way because, you know, Giselle has made stabs at her. So we'll see how the fuck this plays out. We will see. But... You can tell these, and you, you you already know the established friendships prior to taping. So you can tell this is one of those mashups that um, just isn't working. So we'll see how this shit plays out. <clears throat> Alright, so we're at the very end of this video. And pretty much it's the girls at this point now kind of like talking about deep shit. Um, and the whole divorce thing with uh, Cherise comes up and... You know, I'm glad she's not trying to bash her husband, you know, but, you know, she was like, it's not about the material things and, and the girl, all the girls are jumping on ain't about the material things. But the fuck y'all at the, but the way y'all ass has been acting on this motherfucking trip. Now with Robin, I couldn't quite catch it. Maybe it's cause I wasn't close enough to the TV cause the TV over there. I'm over here and shit. I'm trying to still give y'all green screen and shit. Was a friend taking their motherfucking money? Is that why they ain't got no money? Well, we gonna see next week. We gonna see, and then the shit that I was waiting for gonna be next week. So this episode wasn't all that great, but it it, it gave me what I needed, all the shade that I wanted. So thank you guys for watching. Let's keep the shit, you know, conversation going on down below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm back. I know I didn't do uh, love of hip hop uh, today because, like I said, a lot of shit was going on. I do apologize, y'all. Y'all, I'll just have to double up tomorrow. I right, peace.